There it is. The box is in excellent condition. This corner here is a little bit opened up. Other than that, it is almost completely perfect. Okay, next step, I'll get this cardboard off and then go. And again, the cardboard removed. Looks as good inside as it did out. So, here we are. Alright, here we are. Got it un uncloaked. Everything looks to be in good order. I can't see any damage right now. The, the packaging and uh, everything was uh, near perfect. Well, I've got the 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 steel support structure out from around it. I'm getting ready to uh, jack it up, put the front wheel on. I just wanted to show how I how I did it. I just cut out that center section, with a uh, cutoff wheel. But first I strapped the, the rear tire down. That's my, my stand right now. I jacked it up, connected the, the rear shock. You can see there. I'm just getting ready to pull the front axle out and jack it up and uh, put the front wheel in. I just wanted to show how I, how I did this with just one guy. So that's it. Well, there's the front wheel on. I've got to put, hook up the speedometer. Still got the rear wheel in that contraption that I put together. I was getting all braggadocious about how I set it up where I could do it all by myself. And about five minutes later, just as I almost had the front wheel on, the motorcycle fell over this way. <laughs> oh man. Oh well. I guess you better ought to have two people when you do this. There it is. My Templar X. X Pro Templar X. Finally got it together. I still gotta put the the nibby coil on and uh new spark plug. It's a pretty good looking bike though, all in all. Very thin. Can't see it there though. It runs pretty good. I just took it out for a ride around the block last night. You can see there the Rear sprockets, that's a, uh, I think it's 47, maybe more, I can't remember, but it's, it's, it's geared pretty low. I've heard other people say it's only good for like 65 on the road. Got the nibby 30 millimeter carburetor on. Works good. It was a bear to get in there though, getting it uh, back into both of the sleeves at once was difficult, but I did it. Checked the valves, they were all good.
you can see more how narrow it is from here. My KPX, well, it's like a way wider. <laughs> it's like more like a KTM seat. Not very friendly to the butt, but nice and narrow. I'll fire it up, fire it up for you. Said it runs, runs really good. Got a lot. Look at the, the again the size of the muffler compared to my hand. I'm not going to burn my hand for this video, but and look at the muffler on the KPX. I, I bet this KPX probably weighs, um, according to the stats, it weighs 330 pounds, and it feels like it does. But this one here is supposed to weigh 258. That's a dry, but um, you're gonna. That's like a KTM. KTM always goes dry. Their weights are always dry. And but with fuel, you're still gonna be uh, not much more. So uh, only a two and a quarter inch or two and a quarter gallon tank versus the three for the KPX. But the, you can see how much slimmer the two bikes are one to the other. Well, I'm really liking this Templar. I'm gonna, this will be my dirt bike and uh, this one will be, I'm gonna put some more street oriented tires on it 